Our next guest says she's more scared of American, American social media companies than TikTok. Evita Duffy wrote that, and she joins me now. All right, Evita, why are you more scared of U.S. companies than TikTok? So I just want to say right off the bat, Stuart, that I am not undermining the threat of TikTok. I've personally uh, uncovered Chinese influence campaigns on the app. It's, it's definitely a threat, but what I say is American social media companies are even more of a threat. We saw during the Twitter files what happened. We, the, the deep state is in collusion with American social media companies to interfere in our elections, to, to suppress the Hunter Biden laptop story, to shadow ban conservatives, to promote the Russian collusion hoax, to silence doctors during COVID. This is all very concerning. And our only defense against this kind of tyranny is free expression. And TikTok is actually doing free expression better than American companies. And I'll give you an example. Lila Rose, the pro-life activist, she did a, a video on Instagram where she said that there, it's never medically necessary to have an abortion. That was slapped with the fact check on Instagram, but was left completely untouched on TikTok. And there are example after example of things just like that. You know, there's obviously you know this, there's a very serious movement to ban TikTok outright, largely on security concerns. I know a lot of people who run small businesses on TikTok and they don't want it banned at all. Where do you stand on this? Well, TikTok, I mean, you're absolutely right about that. TikTok has been revolutionary for small business owners. I will say, think about when, when do Republicans, Democrats, and the deep state all agree on something? Hardly ever. And they all agree that they want TikTok on. And I don't think it's for our benefit. They claim it's for our own security, for our own uh, privacy. They're collecting data. Our government's collecting data on us all the time through all of their agencies. They want to get rid of TikTok because they can't control TikTok. And I don't think that's, accept, uh, that, that's a, a, a legitimate reason. And I also think it sets a really negative precedent. China bans apps. Americans don't ban apps. Americans don't try to suppress content that they can't control. Uh, I think that's communist behavior. Evita Duffy, thank you very much indeed for joining us. We appreciate it. And I'm sure we will see you again real soon. Hope so, at least. Thank you, Rita.